you want to talk about the Mario movie? Uh, yeah, sure. Now, you haven't seen it, no. right? No. Nope. Have you read reviews? Uh, or looked at, watched reviews? I don't know. How do we pull review these days? Sort of. Okay. It's doing better than I thought it was going to do. What are your expectations? Are you, are you going to watch it? Because you, like, never go to the movies. I very rarely go to the movies. When's the last time you went to a movie? I literally don't know. Was it when we went to see the second Kingsman? I think so, yeah. Because that was like, there's the third one is like out, <laughs> you know? Did we go see that one? No, we watched that one at my place. Oh, yeah. Very disappointing. Because I remember it. I, yeah, it was pretty The third one was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, Are man, you going to go? I don't know. I, I am planning on going to the movies soon. Uh, okay. I want to go see John Wick 4 with Brandon. Oh, okay. All right. Um, cool, 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 cool. I like going to see cinematic movies with Brandon because then he gets to geek out about them afterwards. And it's like, right. that's, that's fun. Um, but I don't know. I would probably wait for it to come to some service. But I can definitely watch because I definitely subscribe to it. It's surprisingly fine. Okay. My expectations based on the critical reception were pretty low. Oh, yeah. I... I assumed it was garbage and then apparently people seem to like it a decent amount yeah right now on rotten tomatoes let me jump to my screen not that one. Oh boy He's this good one at this um the the tomato meter so the the reviewers gave it a 58 but audience 96 yeah people like it those are both completely wrong <laughs> <laughs> it, it is it is not a 96 percent piece of storytelling um, well, okay, no. It, this it's a is, visual fiesta. That's I will not, say that's that. not how Rotten Tomatoes works. Because Rotten Tomatoes is yes or no, and if you vote yes, it's like it oh, goes up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but but in general, what we've what what would typically be a ninety six percent would mm. have to okay. have everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, would yeah. have to be great fun for the whole family. You know, all the multiple layers of whatever. You know, something like an up is is oh, a yeah. masterful oh, animated yeah. film definitely um it's not up <laughs> it's right it's what is ups ratings oh it's probably close to 100 percent. i mean i kind of hope so 98 yeah it's not two percent yeah it's not two percent worse than up it's not it's not what? close the audience score for up is 90 the yeah. tomato meter is 98 up is people uh, have bad taste <laughs> yeah so anyway um, the Super Mario Brothers movie, though, what it is, is good, clean fun. It's Nintendo. I mean, that's probably good. It's good, clean fun. It's, um, you know, everything that I was worried would be kind of garbage about it. Uh, like if they if they overdid the the references and, and they, they, they did. It's, it's, of course, there's a lot of references. It's from one reference to one reference to, to another reference. But, you know, Nintendo has... What what are we what are we coming up on like you know forty years of, of like modern era video gaming yeah, not, content not their to pull old from playing cards whether but. whether it's whether it's music or characters or environments or or game or mechanics or whatever else it is sorry plumbers uh, <laughs> um, Nintendo Nintendo has so much to draw on that they can do that without it feeling stale and I actually I I enjoyed it it's not the kind of thing that I would watch again. I, I don't, I don't need to, I don't need that. Um, I, I definitely, you know, I prefer Despicable Me if I'm going to, you know, pick an Illumination film that I, that I like better. Okay. But it was fine. Good enough? Yeah, it was totally good enough. The kids loved it. Do you feel like the voice acting detracted from it? You know what? Controversial take. Here we go. I thought Chris Pratt was fine. I thought Anya Taylor-Joy was terrible. <laughs> she, she took me out of the movie basically every time Princess Peach opened her mouth. And it didn't take you out for Chris Pratt. No, it's fine. Interesting. Yeah. The I, thing that's crazy to me is that the voice actor for Mario is like alive and he's around in the movie. Stuff. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's like actually, like I said, everything that I thought was terrible, and I'm not really spoiling anything. It's, it's revealed in like the first couple minutes. Uh, everything that I thought was gonna be bad was fine i want to ask like how they explain that away and stuff but it's going to be too spoilery no no it's it's just it's fine okay and it's fine yeah, yeah. um the second one is going to be dog <laughs> i'm calling you, it you feel like they spent all their like yep. yeah 
Yeah. Yep. All the good references are spent, etc. Well, any character development that they can do for Mario is... God, there's, there's plenty more to explore. They have set up a cinematic universe okay. worth of things to explore. Yeah, yeah. Which means someone is on a time is on a time crunch creating the next cookie cutter installment of this that is meant to come out on x schedule come hell or high water and don't forget about the the tv show tie-ins and all the the video game tie-ins that you're gonna have to that you're gonna have to play in order to know what's happening when Peach gets captured by Bowser and goes there and she gets rescued and there's a going to be a little wink to the audience in Super Mario Brothers movie 4 and Toad's standalone adventure movie when he has Toad's Adventure 2 or whatever it's going to be awful I'm calling it now it's going to get super self-referential to itself rather than to the rich video game history or I could be totally wrong, and Nintendo could go an utterly different direction with it. Spoilers? No, there's there's no spoilers. I'm just I'm just I'm just talking about it. Spoilers for the movie that isn't out yet. Yeah, exactly, exactly, <laughs> guys. But yeah, yeah, Smash Bros. Multiverse is 100% going to be a thing, and it's going to be atrocious. Because the other thing too is they went with all their most recognizable characters right out of the gate. So what? It's going to be like Icarus and. Uh, Game and Watch, like, I'm, right? <laughs> do you think like, they could do the adventures of someone else? I mean, they could, they could. Just wouldn't perform as well? I think if they wanted it to be good, they would probably go separate universes. Um, uh, do you think they could do stuff like, like someone in Floatplane Chat mentioned Luigi going Ghostbusters. Do you think they could do like a, like a murder mystery style thing with like the Luigi haunted house stuff? There's so much room for them to do something creative and amazing. You know, I'd, I'd love to see a Zelda movie. Oh. I'd love to yep. see it done really well. <laughs> it totally, has to be done really well. Totally different. Like, I'm still burnt off the Warcraft movie. Like, I still, like, have a huge lack of trust. Because like, of I almost want, like, uh, like Castaway kind of vibes where, where it really focuses on, on Link and his lonely wandering uh, or, or something or something do something tonally different the problem is that this is now the most successful animated film of all time yeah. in terms of like its first week take yeah and you know how bean counters work whether they're nintendo bean counters number two or disney bean counters that that more of that yeah or, yeah yeah it's disappointing yeah i like breath of the wild uh like Legend of Zelda spin-off movie could actually be super sick. Like a like a hardcore survival film, but it's like Link trying to Ooh, live action would be cool. <sighs> yeah, it could be good. <sighs> you want it to be animated. My thing is, my thing is I don't think it should be cutesy. They took the Warcraft movie. Yeah. Which has like like people would watch this was actually a thing. People uploaded just all of the cinematics for Warcraft three, which don't even go into each other properly, and just uploaded all of them in one video file onto YouTube. Still a better movie than Twilight. And people would just watch <laughs> the whole thing all the way through. It had tons of views back in the day. Yeah. Because the cinematics that Blizzard made for so long, even now, when they make full fledged ones, because they not the in game ones, but when they make full fledged ones are like just absolutely legendary cinematics and then they're like warcraft movie live action <laughs> like what what are you doing and so i oh man so i i i i question that a little bit sure i actually think it would be like more legit i i hazard saying this i think it would be more legit to do that with legend of zelda mm -hmm. than it is with uh warcraft or really any blizzard title to be completely honest but i still just I hazard that. There's all these like Disney, like, oh, we're going to live action Lion King. That's stupid. Don't do that. Well, yeah, it's not even live action. That's just an animated movie. It's just dumb. Just like, in a realistic yeah. style. Well, let's take all the emotion out of it. Cool. Uh, so I. And I'm ugh. speaking out of ignorance. I haven't watched it because I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just. Uh, I read the comments. I'm just. <laughs> 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 I'm just like concerned. That's all. <laughs> Shh.
Shia LaBeouf as Link. Okay, you guys are memeing now. <laughs> That's not funny. It's pretty it's funny. like super immersive about it. <laughs> There's like Shia LaBeouf gets arrested for like smashing pots at like Home Depot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I mean it's not Ezra Miller, so like, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh, that's the that's the actor that is just plays the flash and is as far as we can tell just a complete weirdo. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Man, speaking of method actors though, I, I would love oh man, this is embarrassing. Uh Viggo Mortensen. I'd love him as like Ganondorf or something, just like Play a villain for a change. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah, yeah. That's Aragorn. I know. I, I knew he, that he one. He doesn't know actors. So yeah, but I knew that one because I'm like a Lord of the Rings nerd. Yeah. 